Welcome back again to my channel. Today we're going to be making a Mexican dessert called Jericaya. Jericaya is from the state of Jalisco and it's very, very good. Um, it is like our Mexican creme brulee. So step by step, I'm going to give you the instructions on how to make this creme brulee, which is Jericaya. It takes milk, evaporated milk, sugar, cinnamon, two eggs, and then just one yolk, and some vanilla. And then that's basically it. I'm going to show you step by step on how I make Jericaya. So you go ahead and get your pot here and you add your wet ingredients. So you're going to go ahead and put in your milk into your pot. Then you're going to get your evaporated milk and put that in. And you're going to get your cinnamon. And I like to break up my cinnamon uh, so it gives it more flavor. You get your sugar and you put your sugar in and you go ahead and put your vanilla in. I'm going to go ahead and leave the instructions on how to make this and the amounts down below. You go ahead and mix this together and you take it over to your stove and you heat it up to where it begins to boil. So you just bring it over to your pot. You want to bring it to a good simmer uh, about 10 minutes before it starts that until the cinnamon releases all of its flavor. As soon as you're done with that, you can bring it back over, sift it, and then you're ready for the next step. So as soon as it's boiled and, and you feel like you've, all the flavor is coming out of the cinnamon, you go ahead and bring it to another dish and you take all of the other uh, ingredients out. Especially, I don't like that the, um, that the cinnamon it remains there. You go ahead and sift that and you want to make sure that you cool this off as much as possible. You're going to be using a total of two eggs, two full eggs, and one yolk. As soon as it cools, you can go ahead and begin folding that in. You do not want to put it in when it's hot or it'll curd. And so you want to make sure that you do do that. So you want to go ahead and make sure that it's not, it doesn't have to be completely uh, cool, but it has to bring the temperature down for sure, where it's not steaming anymore. You go ahead and preheat your oven at 375 degrees, and you're going to cook these or bake these for about 30 minutes. You want to put in a, um, a toothpick into the center of after 25 minutes like go ahead and check it and to see if it comes out clean that means it's ready. And the way I usually do this is I put in my two eggs then I put in my third egg. This allows it to go ahead and coagulate a little better so it creates the creme, creme brulee so you, or the herikaya in this case. So you go ahead and continue mixing very very quickly and you want to slowly Bring your eggs in and continue to, to mix very, very uh, briskly because you do not want it to go ahead and curd on you. Um, so you want to go it slowly and making sure that you're constantly mixing in together. And it's good. It didn't curd on me, so it's nice. Um, it's still warm, but it's not hot. And so go ahead and put in the last one. And this one is just going to be a yolk, remember. And this is going to allow it, it's going to help it to go ahead and coagulate and create the, um, the creme brulee. Sometimes I make it and I'm cooking and cooking and I have to put it in the refrigerator afterwards because, uh, and actually I usually do that anyway, but it doesn't go ahead and coagulate on me nicely. And that third, that yolk, that I put in allows that. So when you go, you're ready, you go ahead and take it over to the Baño Maria that I already have prepared here. And these are gonna be small jericayas. And I go ahead and try to fill them up as much, much as possible. This will make anywhere between five and six jericayas. Again, not huge ones, but just enough. You wanna cook them again for about 25 to 30 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So they've come out of the oven already and uh, the toothpick was very, very clean when it came out. I went ahead and charred them a little bit because I like that. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and use the broiler, broiler for a little while and it'll come out just as nice. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do the taste test. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. It's silkily delicious. It's really, really good. I absolutely recommend that you give it a try and make some herikaya at your house. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy. Enjoy.